Proctor Public Schools has a proud tradition of being a leader in promoting outstanding learning opportunities for our students. Proctor's 150 square mile district serves the city of Proctor and the neighboring communities from Spirit Mountain to Fish Lake and residents of Bayview Heights, Twig, Midway, Solway, Grand Lake, and Kenosha Townships. We pride ourselves on the success for each student. Proctor Public Schools. We educate, engage, and inspire. We are Rail Strong! And they did. And the nice thing about it was last Saturday, it was the International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And they wowed everybody. Tonight you are going to have a couple of actors, at least one, who is going to be replacing an actress who could not be here today. Um, so our, one of our understudies, who is also a nun, is going to take the place of Liesl, sister, um, Mother Superior's sister. Uh, it's a, forgive me, I'm a little nervous. That's why I direct, I don't do this stuff anymore. Um, one act competition is 35 minutes to, to do the show, 10 minutes to set up from a bare stage, and 35 minutes to do the show. If we go over that at any time, they're allowed to complete, but they will not be considered. So. Last week we went up against se uh, five, no, seven teams, because we had an extra team in ours, and they beat out everybody, and they were tough, tough teams that they went up against. And the judge who critiqued us basically said, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna be picky, they're minor things, but you guys were great. So, sit back, enjoy, no fading stars. There, there's the last, and in time for another day. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Sister Clara. Did you see that glorious sun coming up and that morning star fading? It makes me want to nudge that old bell a little and let it ring. It's hundreds of years old. It rings a lot of memories. Well, sister, it may be the only cause for smiling we have this day. Mother, Klaus Hoffler is here with a truckload of supplies. And frowning? Thank God we can stop counting out peas and beans. Why the frown? He's brought children again. Two children. Children? And only two? Well, now that the school is closed, we'll have to say they're the nieces of the Herr Dr. Schneider. Who claim them until we can get them out? Mother, these children, you call them Herr Dr.'s nieces? I don't think anyone will believe that. You see... Of course they will. We've done that many times before. Well, you'll see. Mother, I don't know how we can continue. Last week, three times... Yes, I know. The search is unannounced. Since the order came to close, we're being watched, I'm sure. Klaus is growling again. He hears what they say in town, and he's been warned by whom? Well, by Herr Dr. Schneider, for one. Uh, Gert Freeberg says they announced the last search of the ghetto. I've taken some precautions. I've burned all the records. The birth certificates? I've burned them all. Mother Franziska and Sister Clara, I won't wait any longer while you two stand here gossiping. I've been out to the farm before dawn, and I won't wait. Of course not, Klaus, my dear scowling friend. Why don't you come in here for a bit and growl at me? It makes my day complete. Well, no, it's just that I... It's just that you're tired. Sister Clara, there must be a cup of hot coffee in the kitchen for Klaus. With a little pinch of sugar, if Sister Monica can spare some. I tell you, Mother Franziska, I'm not sure if I can keep up the pace much longer. It's for the work that must be done. I suppose I complain a lot, but what can I do? What can any of us do? Last night, in the town, there was another search, and there are two children in the truck, and I'm afraid- Yes, I know. Sister Clara told me. Yesterday, I had almost decided to stop for a while, but now that the children are here, how can we refuse them? We will take them in as the nieces of the Herr Dr. Schneider. He's helped us in the past. 
He will do that for us again. Mother Francisca, you mean he'll tell a little lie for us? No, Klaus, it's not really a lie. We've been through this before. For the hair doctor to claim one or the other of the children here as his nieces, it's not really a lie. He may very well be a distant uncle of the children. Yes, I know the argument. Somewhere in the distant past, we are all related. And the Gestapo is not the time to search the family trees of the respectable citizens, like Herr Doctor and the nuns here at Maria Morgenstern. And Klaus Hoffler, you've been an uncle more times than you know. It's what I call an honest deception. Yes, and the Aryan passports and the birth certificates. All honest deceptions. Yes, and the nieces of the Herr Doctor. Two girls in the novitiate of Maria Morgenstern. They will leave them alone. But there's just one thing. Yes. One of these nieces is a nephew. A boy? Well, I was not expecting that. But we won't turn him away. He may not have a chance. He may run away. But this time, these must be the last. I told myself after last week's searches, no more. But these two, I could not refuse. Here. Here is a good hot cup of strong coffee for both of you. With a little pinch of sugar. Thank you, sister. And tell Sister Monica that Klaus will be stopping in the kitchen to unload the supplies. I'm obliged to you, Sister Clara. I'll be sure to stop in the kitchen later. You can warn Sister Monica. Oh, don't worry. She'll be ready for you. Now, the children. Gerda Zacks. Do you remember her? Gerda, yes. But I thought she had left Germany. Well, they've been called. Last week, the Gestapo broke down the door and they arrested Martin. Things have been quiet in the ghetto for a couple of weeks now. And how they, they say he's on the train, and then yesterday, Gerda... Gerda and Martin? You can see why my feet are dragging. One by one are friends, but nothing can be done. We do what we can. But now we must save the children. The children? Yes, um, this letter, it's, it's from Gerda. Dear Fritzi, forgive me for I take your life into my hands as I write this letter. We are the last to leave Ludwig Strauss, the last Jews. It seems we are all being swept into flames that will destroy us. She says Liesel has changed. We dare not approach her. And except for Klaus and Marta and the Freebergs, we are all alone. Yes. We shared what we had, and I promised to bring the children here. I am sending my children to you, David and Miriam. I cannot bear to think that they will perish in the flames. Your friend, Ferdy. In a note, David will be 13 next week. He would have been bar mitzvah this Sabbath. My dear Ferdy, and my poor sister Liesel. Poor? A fool, that's what? Perhaps I shouldn't say so. But Mother Franziska, I say Liesel She's is a... She's a fool, Klaus, and it's pitiful that she destroys everything she knows to be right in her foolishness. But she's my sister, and she's a grown woman. I despise what she stands for, and yet I still grieve for what she is. No one trusts her. The whole town knows she's a sympathizer. And though they respect you, they will not give her a crumb of sympathy or friendliness. Well, married to Captain Muller, she makes her choice to stand against us. She knows how I feel and avoids me. And it's just as well I don't want her here asking questions, seeing what she should not see or hearing. She would not understand that we could not face the living God or ourselves if we did not, as dear Gerda says, take our lives into our own hands. What Gerda said was, she, she takes your life into her hands. Klaus. Will you make another trip tonight? Notify the free Do you hear me? I say she is right. She takes your life and the lives of all of us. She takes it all into her hands with a letter. Evidence. If Heimlich and the Gestapo come by again, he will not leave alone. Yes, I'm afraid that's true, so I've burned all the records. She takes No! Your... I take my life into my hands. My life, the sisters, the monastery, all of it into my hands. But it's too late. But the children will not be destroyed. Klaus, will you work? Will you stay with me in this work? Yes. What else can I do? Where are the children? Mary, it's all right. Klaus will come back, and you have to stay here. Why? I want to go with you. Miriam, please. I'm not going to stay here and hide like a, like a little boy. 
Hide in a convent. But where are you going to go? I'm going to try and get out and back to bottom with the others. Miriam, please. I want to go with you. You don't understand. I'm the last. Here. You take this sweater and scarf that Mama Cat. You take these things. This will keep you warm. But what about you? Don't be afraid. They'll take care of you. You can stay here and hide, a girl. But I must go. What's that? Here, behind the tree. There you are. Why did you move from the truck? I'm not afraid. Well, I am. And so am I. I'm going to leave here. Now. It's not safe. You will have to wait. I don't believe you. Who are you? My mother friend Vista, your mother's good friend. How do I know? You know because she tells you. That's how you know. Yes, you can believe me. I'm your mother's good friend. Friend? 